favorites, Kimmy with Good Karma Tarot. This is going to be your weekly reading for the next seven days or so, whenever you see this reading. So we're going to pull a few cards, get into clarification and all that. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Let's go on Libra. So... We have the healer of ages, which some of you might have healing abilities. Um, first thing I heard was shamanic journey, but we will get into that in a second. Your overall energy is storm war warning. So there's a lot of chaos going on in your life um, with the sun in reverse underneath that. And then also goddess of the moon. It's kind of like you guys are in a space of confusion. And Pisces got something similar, but this is more of a mindset that I'm seeing. Because the sun is in reverse. So there's a negative thinking. You're thinking about something from a negative perspective. And then with storm war warning, it's kind of like... There's a lot of chaos in your world right now. So this could also be why the, why the healer of the ages is out because this is something within you that's being healed or needs to be healed. But with victory being next, you are gonna have victory over this situation. <laughs> and then we, we have action as well. It's just so funny. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get into clarification. Yeah, so when we were experiencing an ending, sometimes, because storm warnings in number 10, 10s are all about endings. All right, what is this healer of the ages? Four of Wands. Hmm. Yeah, I said endings. We got the Ten of Swords right here. That's all about endings. And then we have the um, Seven of Pentacles. And then we have your card, Justice. So that's good. That's good that you're showing up in your spread because that's your power card. You want that in your spread. So even though things feel chaotic right now, let me turn my volume down. Okay. So yeah, even though things feel chaotic right now, this is being healed. And it looks like things are balancing out for you, even though it might be uncomfortable right now. So for clarification, we have the Four of Wands, the Eight of Wands, and then the Three of Swords. A lot of fire energy, passionate, creative energy. So with the Three of Swords, it's like there's a heartbreak of some kind. Um, you're feeling heartbroken about something that's probably what uh, caused this storm warning here and why you're thinking about things so negatively. This could definitely have to do with a commitment with the four of wands. So this can be a marriage or this can just be really a commitment of any kind. And I feel that with the eight of wands, um, I feel that this is you. You're wanting to, this is passionate communication. So you're wanting to express it's almost like you're wanting to express what you're going through or communicate what's going on now for others be cautious because if this heartbreak isn't something that's already happened this could be something that's getting ready to happen. You could get communication that really hurts you, really breaks your heart. Or again, this could have already happened. 
with the healer and this is what's being healed and it's kind of like some of you might have recently gone through like a breakup and there was like a breaking of promises and you felt betrayed with the ten of swords here because he's just laying on the ground with all these swords in his back and it's obvious that you know this is extremely painful because you've invested a lot of your time into something or someone just for it to end in this chaos energy. Let's keep going. Alright, what is this victory? Some of you really need the... Hold on. I'm getting, there's a need to, need for self-love here. Maybe you're just being really hard on yourself about something that happened in the past, like an argument, but you're coming out of this because the five of wands is in reverse. And then you also have the ace of cups with that. So it's like you're resisting something. Maybe you're resisting expressing your true feelings or like you're resisting loving yourself and you're kind of like seeing it as a missed opportunity but if you look closely i love this so you look closely and sorry about the light so there's this cloud right and it's like the divine is handing you a new beginning in love let's say, but you're not really looking at it. You just look like you're in discontent. And it's, I, I say it's interesting because the same cloud that has the cup is the same cup right here that's overflowing. So I feel that you didn't actually miss an opportunity. This chapter was meant to close out with the world because this is going to bring you an alignment with yourself or this is bringing you like the right person. A part of you might even reject love with this five of wands energy. It's definitely with a partnership of some kind I feel. I feel for a lot of you this has to do this is either an internal thing going on with you, like this could even be your distant past and this is just something that you're healing from. This could even be like childhood wounds, but you're coming out of this, oh my gosh, it's so funny. So we have the Eight of Cups. So this is about you walking away from whatever this was. It's almost like, because the Five of Wands is in reverse, it's almost like you you're being less resistant to walking away from this and you're going in search of something new and then we have the sun so you're going towards your happiness so it's beautiful because the bottom of the deck over here you have the sun in reverse um, Leo energy, you could have Leo in your chart dealing with one, but I feel more so this is about you just, you finding out what your happiness truly is and what that means to you and then taking action because this is clarifying the action card. So you're liberating yourself from a situation and you're going after what it is that truly makes you happy. So maybe you just realize the situation wasn't serving you. Someone could have left you out in the cold. Um, heartbreak did come up earlier. But you going in search for your happiness brings you into like, kind of like, um, there's a, a naked kid <laughs> right there. So it kind of brings you back into this place of feeling like a kid again, feeling happy again, and this brings balance back into your life. And then we have the Five of Pentacles at the bottom. So 
this could have been a financial loss. Um, this could also just be like abandonment issues coming up and the need to really love yourself and to heal to heal these aspects of yourself. Some of you could have been in like a third party situation where like either there's like a choice between two people or somebody treated you kind of like an option. Because we do have the three of cups here. I don't usually get that with that card, but I am. And then we also have the straight card also represents Leo. And then we have the Empress, which is Libra, you for Taurus. And then we have the two of cups and temperance, which is Sagittarius energy. So it's kind of like the angels, whatever you believe, spirit is guiding you towards a true soulmate connection. And this is you kind of just like stepping back into your power after feeling left out in the cold by somebody else. And Spirit's saying that you have the strength to overcome this. But for those of you that are still trapped in negative thinking, this is creating even more chaos for you. This is literally the root of the problem is it's not necessarily what happened to you it's your perspective on it and there needs to be a different approach here and this is what's being destroyed because spirit sees how unhappy you are so like it's not like they're trying to punish you it's just more like they want you to heal your heart space so that you can be free and liberated from your suffering. So yeah, the action would be to walk away from that thought process and see things from a different perspective with the sun here. And this is going to balance things out for you. So taking action, like doing the things that you enjoy doing, doing the things that you love to do. There's a lot of growth here, though. And you're becoming aware of this. Like, I don't feel like the Libras I'm connecting to, this isn't something that you're unaware of. Um, we got the Fool, which is Aries and Pisces energy. And then the Six of Swords. So yeah, you're definitely moving away from something. And then we have the Seven of Cups with it. So you're moving away from the confusion. So you have this, you have this awareness of what's going on. And then the Five of Pentacles again. So this can even, even be like a lack mentality, poverty consciousness, something like that. Um, but there's definitely lack here. You're focused on the lack and spirits saying shift that. See things from a higher perspective. And it's like once you do, you get this liberation. Okay. I'm going to go into another deck. So what do we have for Libra? Some of you have psychic abilities. We have clairvoyance here. And it says I'm helping 
I am helping your spiritual sight to awaken fully so you can clearly see heavenly love. And then indigo and crystal children. You have a bond with children. In particular, you can help children who are sensitive. So that could be a part of your purpose. Or you could be an indigo child, crystal child. Anything else? There's definitely an imbalance in your chakras, though. And then clear sentience. You have two psychic abilities here. Notice your reoccurring physical and emotional feelings as they signify divine guidance. So you're very intuitive. Very intuitive. Then we have all as well. Everything is happening exactly as it is supposed to. With hidden blessings, you will soon understand. And then we have prosperity, but it's in reverse. So for some of you, this is about your lack mentality. You're seeing things from lack, and this is creating more lack. It's kind of like you just kind of keep losing stuff, whether it's like relationships, finances, whatever it is. And Spirit's saying, you know, um, an excellent way to shift this is through gratitude. So counting your blessings, focusing on what you are grateful for. Because eventually this is going to retrain your mind and pull you out of this poverty consciousness or this lack mentality, whatever it is for you. Gentleness. Be very gentle with yourself at this time. Surround yourself with gentle people, situations, and environments. Yeah, that goes, that goes along with the whole self-love thing. Needing to give yourself more love. Okay. Let's pull some of these. these for Libra. Seventeen, seventeen. Libra. Hmm. Yeah. So I'm having a vision of a caterpillar and metamorphosis. Okay, so, so it's kind of like you're this caterpillar and you're in your cocoon, in your hermit phase, and things feel really uncomfortable right now because that's how change works. So things feel very uncomfortable right now, Libra, um, and it's just kind of like a storm brewing within you. Um... I don't feel like you're going to be here long, though. I feel like you're getting ready to break free. And once you take control of your mind, instead of allowing it to control you, you break out of your cocoon and you become the butterfly. It's just you have these limitations in your mind that's holding you back from so many great things. So we have accept disappointments gracefully, ask with sincerity, and then we also have strengthen your gifts. Yeah, some of you are very intuitive. Intuitively, you know what to do. Maybe you're, f you're saying no. Um. Trying to figure out what deck to go to. Let's do this deck. I definitely feel that I did hear shamanic journey earlier. So some of you could be on this journey. And it can be a little frustrating because a lot of times when you are on the sham shaman shamanic journey. It can get pretty lonely, you know? A lot of times, um, we end up in situations where we end up alone and we have to go through our problems alone. And 
This could be really difficult for you. But you're definitely going, it's like through this pain, through your life experiences, like eventually you're gonna get to this place where you just have this higher perspective, you know? You're going to see things differently and Spirit's saying that you can start doing that now. Like when pain emerges, when your shadow side emerges and you have to do shadow work, see past the pain, understand, you know, you've gone through these um, dark night of the souls before, we'll call it, um, depression, whatever it is. My cat's hair just gets everywhere. So you've gone through this before and you've made it through and Spirit's saying remember that in those moments. Remember that you've made it through and that you'll make it through again and instead of like thinking of things like why is this happening to me, think of it like, you know, what is this trying to teach me? Yeah, you're going through a major expansion right now. One more. Yeah, we have expansion, and then we have self-exploration, and then we have heart chakra. So some of you are being pushed to open up your heart through self-love. Your heart is expanding, but first, residual pain has to be dealt with. And then we have alchemy. Some of you, I just heard some of you have past lives as witches, wizards, <laughs> that kind of thing. That's cool. You're very spiritually in tune, but I feel you doubt yourself a lot. And then I, I think I said break free earlier. We got break through barriers. And then reveal, reveal the mystery. A lot of inner work here, a lot of obstacles you're breaking through. I really feel some of you, because we had action earlier, I feel that some of you really just need to get moving, like get your body moving. So with the heart chakra, it's like do things, I think earlier they had said uh, do things that make you happy. You know, same thing with the heart chakra. Do things that make you feel good. Things that are more focused on self-love. And then self-awareness, yes. So there's a, there's a repetitive pattern that you're noticing and that you are breaking through. I feel like, yeah, you're breaking free from this. What is the pattern? You're definitely liberating yourself from something. Oh, we're gonna take, well, I guess we're taking three. Positive focus, I knew it. Negative thinking patterns. Then we have transcendence. Excitement. And catalyst. So you might be going through something, ooh, and then nostalgia, I, that just confirmed what I was thinking. <laughs> so you might have had a past relationship, or again, this can be something from your childhood, regardless, something deeply hurt you, but you'll know what I'm talking about when I say this was the catalyst to your story, and this is kind of something that you keep going back to. So this could be a karmic relationship that you had, a karmic soulmate relationship. So this person or this situation, whatever it was, was the catalyst to your story. And it really pushed you to open your heart and to dive deep within your pain to transform it and to open your heart space again. So it's kind of like you've done this before. <laughs> it's not your first time doing this. I'm seeing a lot of blues, a lot of blues, a 
This is your creativity. Communication. Some of you are meant to be speakers, public speakers, writers, singers, anything along those lines. There's something creative that you're meant to do. Blues are also about healing. You might have some blockages in your throat chakra. Maybe there's something you need to speak up about. make this up. Okay. Is that something you need to speak up about? And you gotta speak from the heart. Beginnings and Amlerite. So there's a new beginning that you want. But you gotta speak up and be honest. Ex expression is big. That could be why I've seen blues too with the throat chakra. So speaking up about, I don't know, you'll know what this is, but what this is going to do is this is going to create a new beginning for you. And then the Amlerite, this is you entering a blessed time after you do speak up. Yeah, so we're going to stop it there. We'll stop it there. Again, positive focus on the bottom. So stay positive, Libra. If there's something you need to speak up about, speak up, get it off your chest. I feel like there's a huge weight on your chest and some of you just need to be honest about what you want. I did get, I did see say no earlier and I didn't take the card. So maybe there's something you're doing. Yeah, maybe you're just being logical about it, which makes sense. You're a Libra, you're an air sign. And there's a need to trust your intuition, trust your heart. What is your heart telling you? Because this is your spiritual guide. It's not gonna lead you astray. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Okay, so we have optimism in reverse. So again, that's that negative thinking. And then we have gratitude, and that's just telling you how Spirit said that earlier too. So shift it with gratitude, what you're grateful for. Thanking God or the universe, whatever, for what you do have. Every time you get money, when you eat, things like that, that you have a place to live. Search for the good in the day. Stop staying, staying focused on the bad and the lack of what you don't have. Again, heart chakra. So yeah, I'm going to stop it here. You guys have an amazing week. I love you guys. See you later.